The end for archetypes. Spotify boss Dawn Ostroff confirms there will be no Megan's podcast season two. The boss at Spotify who helped sign the Sussexes has reportedly quit the platform as a number of job cuts hit the company. According to chief executive Daniel Elk, Dawn Ostroff, who's the streaming company's chief content and advertising officer, has decided to depart Spotify. The news of Ms. Ostroff's exit comes as the Stockholm headquartered company confirmed that around 600 people would lose their jobs. In a blog post, Mr. Elk wrote, In hindsight, I was too ambitious in investing ahead of our revenue growth. Ms. Ostroff was responsible for the streaming services investment in podcasting. She signed up the Sussex's Archetype series in a deal with the couple's production business, Archwell Audio. As well as this, she also oversaw an exclusive tie-up to bring popular comedian and podcast host Joe Rogan to the platform. Spotify spent an estimated $1 billion on exclusivity deals and acquisitions, including production company Gimlet, all with Ms. Ostroff's guidance. However, amid mounting losses, investors have started to question the cost of the strategy. This probably means there'll be no archetypes season 2. Word on the street is that Spotify won't renew Megan's archetypes for season 2, nor should they. It's a vanity project where Megan swipes at the royals. Anyone who wouldn't work with her, or those who openly criticise her, anyone with half a brain knows that. Megan Markle signed off a 12th Archetypes podcast with a defiant piece of poetry about survival, but didn't reveal if there'd be a second series of her $18 million Spotify show. Megan said that she'd felt seen while recording more than a dozen hours of content about the labels and tropes that try to hold women back. Closing the show, which featured men for the first time, Megan quoted Greek post-war poet Dinos Christianopoulos and said, What didn't you do to bury me? But you forgot that I was a seed. Markle also insisted she'll not appear in a reality show and stopped watching the Real Housewives series when her life had its own level of drama. Megan didn't say if archetypes would return. Spotify had reportedly become impatient with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle about the pace of recordings. 12 episodes in two years. There have also been remarks about how far down the charts a podcast and individual episodes had dropped. In September, Spotify had been accused of wrongly using its own official podcast chart to keep Meghan Markle at number one when she was lagging behind Joe Rogan and other stars in terms of daily listeners. At the time, Archetypes was ranked as the top podcast in the US and the UK. In all of Spotify's main English-speaking markets, the first two shows with Mariah Carey and Serena Williams were as low as 25 and no higher than 5 in the streaming giant's own top episodes ranking. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are getting the cold shoulder from Hollywood, that's because the royal couple were apparently not welcome at a BAFTA tea party. Harry and Meghan weren't welcome to a star-studded 2023 BAFTA tea party in Los Angeles, amid all of the drama with the royal family. One source close to the situation said, BAFTA decided it was a terrible idea to invite them, they thought it would be a PR nightmare. The insider added, for them to roll out the red carpet to Harry and his wife would be like setting off a nuclear bomb. It's just a no-go. It's also been noted that Prince William is the president of BAFTA. Now, whether or not Harry and Meghan even had any plans to join the tea party to begin with remains to be seen.